Hi, I'm Lauren Weyerman, creator of Wildflowers Nails. Today I'm going to teach you a very basic technique that makes creating ombres so easy and that's using our micro glitters. We at Wildflowers actually have 72 micro glitters to choose from and we have an awesome brush called the scrubby brush that makes applying these glitters so easy and it's so so easy to do an ombre with micro glitters so i hope you learned something today i hope you try it please tag me and leave a comment below enjoy here's the look of the finished nail you'll want to grab a light colored gel polish the wildflower scrubby brush and the wildflowers top coat gel so begin by coating the nail with one coat of gel polish and it doesn't have to be perfect Cure that and we're gonna utilize the tacky layer that's left behind. Now these are the three glitters that I chose, a gold, a gray, and iris. They're from our micro holographic glitter collection. You wanna dump just a little tiny touch of this glitter out onto a palette or some scrap paper. You really don't want to use your brush and go straight into the jars of glitter because it's not sanitary. So here's the Wildflower Scrubby Brush, and you wanna begin by picking up a little bit of the first color. And I like to do my ombres a little bit on the diagonal side. So I'm just going to start pressing this product as I move back and forth and slowly work towards the center of the nail. Now notice I haven't picked up any more. This is just one scoop right here. If I want to pick up more, you have to go back to the original starting place, which would be the top left corner, and then work the glitter forward. Next, I'll use iris. I'll pick up some of this, and I start on top of the gray that's already there. Two pieces of glitter can't take up the same seat if it's a glitter auditorium. So understanding that, you shouldn't be afraid to go on top of one color with the other. All the little particles will fall into place and you'll end up with a beautiful ombre. Now this is my favorite part. This saves a lot of work. I'm gonna use the scrubby brush and really sort of press as I dust back and forth. And what this does is it flattens all of the little glitter particles down. If you wanna to touch it just to kind of get a gauge on it, and I don't recommend this for, you know, when you're working on your clients, but when you feel this with your finger, it should feel really smooth, almost like snake skin. What this means is when I go to put my top coat on, I'm not gonna be fighting against a lot of lumpy, bumpy areas on the nail. I should be able to apply it and get a smooth finish with one coat. I do, however, want to teach you a way to really ensure that you have a perfectly smooth coat. Now look over as I turn this. Watch that white line. Watch what happens to the line over here. Do you see it? How it gets all messed up? That means it's not smooth right there. So I'm going to take just a little bit more of my top coat gel, swipe it over that area, and then I'll check again. So you have to turn your client's finger and use the light line. That's what this line is called to check that it stays nice and straight as I move it across the nail. If everything looks good, cure it and you have a finished nail. I think doing glitter ombres are so easy and so fast and so beautiful. Be sure to check out our micro glitters at wildflowersnails.com. If you're ready to move on to more advanced things, here is the No Show Nail Academy for this month. You can find a link in the description below that will take you straight there. Don't forget our website is wildflowersnails.com. You can go there and find a pathway to anywhere you want to go. We have in-person workshops, we have online courses, and all sorts of goodies. Now our big class is coming up in about two weeks. It is the Master Artist Week. We have uh, nail techs coming from all across the world to come to this in-person course. I'll also be doing courses throughout the United States, so just visit wildflowersnails.com if you want to check those out. We will be listing our next Master Artist Week on our website very soon. The one we're having in two weeks, I believe, is about sold out. We may have one spot left in class. So if you're interested and you're local, hurry up and sign up or get your travel arrangements made. 
I hope to see you all. I hope to teach you all at some point in your nail career. I would love nothing more. And don't forget to check out our classes online. Again, these brushes you can get online anytime at wildflowersnails.com. And be sure to subscribe for a tutorial every Thursday. Thanks for watching.